Well, you know what? Actually, let me go ahead and find Chel Sonnen for you. I think I got him right about here. And on January 21st, Chel Sonnen is going to get smashed, as the way I do inside the cage. Kicking ass and taking names. With Chel Sonnen, you're next. I'm going to dominate. I expect no, no least than what I expect in my camp, what I've been doing in my camp. I want to tell me what you see. Let's go ahead and see by the fight what you saw in the ring. Now, is it true you're coming back in the fall, though, that the fight will be in the fall? Yes, it'll be in April. It'll be in April. Um, I start camp probably around uh, in the beginning of July. So, you know, I'll have another long camp as always. But, but April? Yeah. Or, I mean, uh, do you mean October? Or? October. <laughs> yeah, October. Now I said, I mean, October. Did I say it? April? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's a little early for me still. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, he talks well. His mouth has gotten him every fight, big fight that he's had. And every time when it's time to present and perform, he's failed. On Saturday night, it's not going to change. What I do well, I come up with heart, I come up with determination, I come up with hard work and perseverance. When I get my hand raised, I don't know why. And so all the millions of fans that have had my back over the last 20 years. Tito always says I'm using my mouth to get my opportunities. The only person I know that made money using their mouth is his ex-wife. Well, just to correct you, I was never no marriage. Poor Tito. I mean, there are times where Tito is trying to be a nice guy. It just doesn't exist. He just can't do it. He just got an inability. He is a narcissist to the highest of levels, and he's a terrible communicator to the highest of levels. So when you combine those two, you really have a thing of magic. He does not know at this point part of his narcissism, combined with he's just generally not very intelligent. As you guys get older, is it is it harder to get your bodies into the shape that's required to go at each other? Not with me. I mean, I've only been off for a year and a half. Uh, I'm only 43 years old. Uh, I'm an old mature. I mean, I'm matured old. I mean very fast, but at the same time, my body hasn't matured great uh, just because of my father's really old, my, my father's 80 years old, my grandmother's 100 years old, so my body is in great shape. <laughs> the thing with me is that I am smart, and I'm smart, I'm self-smarted, basically, by myself, basically from nature and smoke and drugs and doing different things, I've self, like, self-learned myself. I think everybody's starting to believe your lies now. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Your lies aren't becoming a truth, huh, buddy? I have my interpreter here uh, for Fedor Emelianenko. Everybody had question of what type of heavyweight you were. You showed it once on Tim Sylvia in 38 seconds. You've done it again against Andre Olaski in three minutes and 34 seconds. Let me tell you how you're feeling right now. I stay in shape, man. I stay in shape. I eat well. You know, um, I don't drink alcohol that much at all anymore. You know, ever. I mean, not compared to when I was in my 20s. Um, I take care of myself now. Now it's about my kids. You know, I want to live. I want to outlive my children. Of course. Cannibal model. Are the other people on the undercard getting a cut of uh, pay per views or is, and gate, or is it just uh, yourself and Chuck? Well, it is just uh, me, myself, and Chuck. Buddy, on Saturday night, those little blue eyes are going to be sparkling even more, man. Just wait and watch. Just wait and watch. This is my kingdom. And on Saturday night, I'm going to roar. I'm going to show jackals like this guy, Chell, the P, Sonnen, what a king's truly like. You know, lastly, Chuck feels like he stole your thunder, and this is sour grapes from you. Like, uh, it's personal because, in a way, you're jealous of him. How does hearing that out of his mouth uh, fall on your ears? Jealous of him? This guy can't even put a fucking sentence together, man. Are you kidding me right now? He's he's reaching for he's reaching for those grapes. He's trying to make his wine, and the wine's already signing like a violin with that cheese and wine. Um, I was listening to Kristen Walken, um, little skit he did, and he talked about a lion, king of the jungle, this huge lion with a big giant mane, in this hot smothering weather in Africa. And the little small lions come up, kind of poke at him, bite on his ear, bite on his neck. The lioness comes over and buzz, bugs him. Then you got the jackals and the rest of the wilderness looking and seeing these lions on that mountaintop. And they come over and bother him. The jackals laugh at him. The hyenas laugh at him, nip at his toes. They eat all of his food. 
and they sit back. And they got jackals like this who think it's a comedy. Until one day he gets sick of it and he attacks and he shows to these people who the fucking king of the jungle is. And this little hyena, I'm gonna eat right through him.